Back in 2017, I became aware of an initiative that was being discussed within ecological circles called Biodiversity Net Gain. This sounded like a very sensible and comprehensive approach to the safeguarding of nature. This was intended to work in conjunction with the planning and development process to promote the improvement of biodiversity across development sites. And Emma concluded that she would like to bring forward a BNG project here at Oscar. We selected an area of land that was adjacent to the River Stour, which is on this wall here. In the BNG credit transactions we developed was across Warwickshire. That's enabled the development of over 500 residential dwellings, including an Aldi supermarket. Completely new approach for the next 20 years. A, a lifetime opportunity to be able to go forward with our farming and looking after our natural capital. Farming is, is now a multi-income business. A, produce food, but B, protect the natural capital and increase the biodiversity. A, a system called regenerative farming, which is about looking after the soil, um, its water holding capacity, providing armour against climate changes and excessive temperatures, cover crops. Adoption of regenerative farming is a journey, uh, is to look after our natural environment. Agriculture produces around about 10 to 12 percent of, of, of emissions. Beef lots are, are creating methane problems. The regenerative approach is to actually get all of those components working together. We have taken steps now within the management of the estate to help with the regenerative process their processes, their carbon footprint, and how we can assist. As an estate, we will get to our, we get to our targets and of the estate as a whole, from commercial, agricultural, and uh, natural capital, we look to join all of those together in terms of fruit production, energy, and natural capital and biodiversity that we'll be able to do that for the next 50 years. In my fourth decade of biodiversity enhancement, biodiversity conservation. Today marks the end of the World Biodiversity Summit in New York. There's a biodiversity crisis globally. It's intrinsically linked to climate change as well. We cannot separate separate the two. And, and it's intrinsically linked more generally to a healthy environment. And if we get biodiversity right, then we can make a real difference on all of these other environmental issues that, that, that keep occurring. But this doesn't mean that we need to be anti-development or anti-progress. Sort of People are going to need homes to live in. It's important to, to embrace those and try and you know, in, ensure that the technologies that they're using are as clean and green as possible. If new homes are being built, that we are putting things back. So, Biodiversity net gain concept is exactly that. About fundamentally embedding biodiversity within, within development. We're going to reverse this trend in biodiversity, we've just got to do it better. We have to find ways of integrating nature into our food production. And let's face it, food production is utterly key makes up so much of our country. So if we can't do that, we will absolutely fail. So what's occurring here is, is absolutely vital. There's a real um, benchmark mark and, and role if you like, for what needs to occur across the rest of the country. Or actually probably done it maybe a little better than most as well. So what is biodiversity in the game? In November, we are going to see secondary legislation. And what that in fact do is it will impose upon the requirement for most developments to improve the biodiversity baseline by 10%. You embed it within your development, create areas off site yourself, or 
Or alternatively, and this is where um, also got sucked out, you can purchase units from a third party. They're contributing significantly to local nature conservation and biodiversity enhancement. If we're going to meet the targets that the government have set, the only way we can do that is on really major biodiversity enhancement in schemes like that that we've seen here. Is that you know, biodiversity net gain is not anti-growth or anti-development, in fact it's absolutely complementary to it. <coughs> biodiversity net gain is, is, is fundamentally about, about ensuring that where development does occur, it puts back more than it's lost. There is what's called the, the death of biodiversity metric. You put back, if there's 50 units, you're required to create 55 units, so 50 plus the 10% of five units. Then so you can do that by embedding biodiversity into your scheme. The, the developer may go and buy a piece of land somewhere and then do some biodiversity enhancement, or they may look for a provider. This is to do it locally. So here, of course, you know, it's for Warwickshire development. Perhaps you've got to set up a hedge fund. <laughs> <laughs>